Hi everybody, this video is sponsored by a contribution from Anonymous and this is her story. Hello, I appreciate what you are doing, giving people a voice is huge. I just want to support that, but I would also like to hear your thoughts on a fella, a friend, who likes to ensnare girls from high school via the internet and emotionally toy with them all while pretending to be this perfect local rock star husband to his unsuspecting wife. I'm hoping at some point he gets busted, or at least that the girls on the high, in the high school harem catch on. I know that's not much to work with, but if you wouldn't mind addressing this type of weenie situation, it would be very empowering for me, and I'm honestly pleased so nobody comes looking for me. All right. The first thing I'm going to tell you is if if you have information that he's messing with with high school girls even on an emotional level. Okay, you don't know how far it's gone. You need to report that to your local police department. Because God forbid down the road it comes out that he hurt one of these girls and he's been hurting girls all along how are you going to feel when you find this out and you know you had this information and you didn't say anything about it now I, I don't know it, you can't you can't hope that high school girls are going to catch on you can't you're the you're an adult, and I understand that you know you, you want to stay anonymous, and the police will keep you out of it the best they can. But if something happens to one of these girls, God forbid, you know he he he, he has sex with them, he molests them, he touches them, he's been doing it all along, you know. How are you gonna feel? I mean, you're gonna you're gonna feel terrible. You're going to feel absolutely horrendous. Now, as far as, and, I, and I'm going to tell you why, because these guys only, only escalate. They escalate and they escalate and they can't be cured. They cannot be cured. The recidivism rate for child sex crimes is like somewhere near 80 to 90%. They repeat, they repeat, they repeat. They cannot control themselves. They cannot. And the scary thing is, is we're turning now into a society that's almost trying to excuse pedophilia. You know, with this, there was a salon article dot com of this guy saying, you know, he's not a He's not a monster, he's not a child, he's a child molester, he's a pedophile, and how he has these sexual thoughts. He's babysitting this five-year-old, he had to go into the bathroom to jerk off because he was so turned on, and he's not a monster. And Salon gave him this forum completely unchallenged. And it's just the way we're, we're leading it. I mean, but we have to stand up and say, no, none of this. We're not, we're not accepting any of this. I know it's tough, and I know it could be scary to have people turn on you if it, if it got out, but how are you going to feel you know, if something does happen to, to one of these girls and it comes out he's been abusing girl after girl, and God forbid one of the girls kills themselves, and like, how are you going to feel uh, knowing that knowledge and knowing you were just hoping somebody caught on? You gotta go to the police. You gotta. You absolutely have to. This is so dangerous. Knowing this guy is targeting girls in a, in a school for whatever the purpose. And as far as his wife and his rock star status goes, karma will catch up with that. But that's, listen, that's who child molesters are. They are pillars of society. Whether it's the Penn State coach or 
Jared from friggin' Subway and like these famous people. And look at look at Elijah Wood with his story out. Elijah Wood saying, basically confirming what uh, Corey Feldman was say, saying that that Hollywood is riddled with child molesters, riddled, and they estimate there's somewhere near a hundred active child molesters within the upper management of the whole Hollywood structure. That's sick. That's sick. And we know these people can't be cured and they're, they're pillars of society. They're always that type. When you find out somebody's a child molester, you know, Typically, from training, we're always thinking about this creepy-looking guy, you know, that that transient, transient-looking, shaggy, bum-looking guy, which is what the guy from in that salon article looked like. Because they want to keep that, and I think what part of it is is they're trying to normalize that creepazoid type of guy, so that gives the guys in the suits and the pillars of society really free access to your children because you're busy worried about this guy you're not looking at the pillar of society but the worst molesters and abusers are always the pillar of society that shouldn't that shouldn't shock you it's that charm and that fakeness and that narcissism that makes them the pillar of society, that makes them so good at manipulating children and gives them the ability to hurt a child like that, all the while putting on that false front, that fake act for the town. That shouldn't surprise you. Listen, most people these days in leadership positions and your so-called pillars of the community are the biggest scumbags out there. It's bullshit. These people who rise to leadership, they always are end up being bad people. So the fact that he's, you know, this rock star husband and why that's all yeah, naturally. That should solidify more to you how dangerous this guy is because he's got it down, man. He's the type, he's the type of molester that can, that does real serious damage because the creepazoid guy gets caught every time because he sticks out like a sore thumb. He sticks out like a sore thumb. You see this creepy looking guy grabs a kid. They always get caught on the first time because they kill a kid. They go crazy. There's never this long pattern with these creepazoid guys. It's one here and they get caught and they get out and they need another one there. They end up hurting a couple kids and that's terrible. But these guys, like the one you're talking about, they damage hundreds and sometimes thousands of children before anybody catches up to them. That's why when they finally get caught like one time, okay, and then they then that the, the, that snowball gets going and boom, it's 15, 20, 50, 100 kids, 200 kids. That's why it happens because they are that pillar of society type of child molester. They are the most dangerous type of child molester. The creep in the trench coat, man, sticks out like a sore thumb. You're not going to leave your children with the creep in the trench coat. You wouldn't think twice about leaving your kids or letting your kids go over to the house of the person and as the pillar of society, the rock star husband. And that's why it's so dangerous. That's why it's so dangerous. And you must do the right thing here. You must at least call the police and let them investigate it. Because God forbid, years down the road, if you've told the police and nothing, and they didn't have it, at least it's off your con. You did everything you could. 
you did everything you could, then it's on the police. And you're still going to feel terrible because you know it. But if something happens and you didn't say anything, and I'm telling you, something will happen with this guy if it hasn't already. I hardly believe, I find it hard to believe, he's going to spend all this time on the Internet like these child predators do. He's going to spend all this time on the Internet only to play an emotional game with children. It's deeper than that. It's definitely deeper than that. I, I, I guarantee it. And he has the potential to hurt hundreds of children. Hundreds of children. And they never get better. And they never stop. So, thank you for your contribution. And thank you for your question. It is a really good one. And I really hope you take my advice. Go to the police. Put it in. Put the ball in their court. And let them do what they do for your own conscience and your own and your own peace of mind. You got to do the right thing here because too many girls are at risk. And as a father of a soon to be 13 year old, I, I can't have that. That's that's that scares me. So thank you again. Great topic. I really appreciate it. Please leave, uh, everybody watching, thank you again as well. Please leave any uh, comments or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you have a question or a story you want read on the channel, you know what to do with the PayPal link in the description box. I'll get the video right out to you. This is Ali Matthews. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again shortly. Bye.